Um, I was getting to the money, forgot to call you back. It's a smooth day, smooth vlog day. You know what I'm saying? Um, right now today, man, I got a Muay Thai. I got my Muay Thai shorts so on. Pretty bad enough for like I deal with a lot when it comes to like her. When it comes to parenting, like when it comes to co-parenting. Oh, this is perfect. When you skip it to the uh the talking part. Like it's like it's a real scramble. Yeah, a couple minutes. It's like just one person wanna be stuck in these type of ways and say bitterness and say this, that, and the third one is like like me moving forward and I'm thinking the best like the best part for my kid, like my son. I'm best interest in heart for him. Like that's all I'm worrying about. Like all that bullshit, all the past tense shit, that's bullshit. I'm worrying about him because at the end of the day we brought him into this world, like moving forward, like I want I really to do be feeling bad when yeah, like co parenting you know don't work. And not working out and shit. Tough. Like, she knows like, how brainwashed. Yeah, the wax happened already, gang. What it is behind her and the things that she say. You know what I'm saying? I think I made a video not too long ago, which was like, I think a week ago. And I said, typically, like. I don't know what's going on. I seen this shit on Shade Room Teens, though. In Kaiser's school, he's with me for the weekend. And Kaiser goes with his mom for the week. And that's it. That was basically it. Like, I didn't say the most of him, say that I wasn't capable of not bringing him, but I wanted really want to put detail into this, into this, because it's like, say one thing and you make it seem like this, and it's not even just that. When I came up with the plan of him going to your house and be for a week at school, because it's like, it's the best for him, because it makes more sense instead of him moving backwards and forth because I want stability for our kid. I want him to be comfortable going to school, waking up and have a, a set schedule because when he comes to my house, there is rules at my house, which is- It's just gonna be a 12 minute video, video, bro. We only got 12 minutes left. And then we watch Neek like shit me, and then get to some other shit. Say it's a lie when it's time for Kaiser to be disciplined or something or he's not listening, everybody calls me. So I'm not a father that never, like that's not in my kid's life that you have to look for me, you have to call me or contact me or look for me for any situation when it comes to my son because like, I love my son, like I love my son to death. Like I, he, I give like to, like I give my whole self to him. And it was already agreed and cool for that to be a situation because I was already bringing our kid to school within a, like in a year format. The year of it, I was already bringing Kaiser to school backwards and forward. The school was too far. Actually, to be honest with y'all, Kaiser original school, his first school, which is not even a school, it's a daycare. His first daycare school that he was going to was on the same side that I'm still living on. Yeah, it's it's not even a school, it's a daycare. Homes and houses. I looked for homes and houses revolving around my kids school and I was involved in right just being in this area that I'm still in she took the choice to move to the other side of Houston and put yo how long they been broke uh broke up how long they uh how long have they been uh separate Three years. School. Well, she was driving from her other side of the house to over here, and it was like it was too far, which it is. It takes an hour to get to Houston, and it takes an hour to get to Three years? Be traffic, because that's an extra 15, 30 minutes on top of it to, for cars to move. So it'd be like an hour, it'd be two hours and some minutes to go there to bring him in the morning, pick him up in the morning. Then you got to go back in the afternoon. So that's four hours of your day, if you really do the math, of picking a you know picking a kid up from a whole different side of the city so going into that it was like vice versa she moved his school closer to hers his school is literally like 15 20 minutes the max 25 minutes the max this is what his, how far his school is and that's not that bad because in, in houston it's all about light turns turns and this down the third but for me i was doing that with no problem for a year plus like straight it's been like three years already i've been doing it pretty much for a year and so it was like bringing him to school picking him up bringing him to school picking him up and it wasn't no problem for me until it started to be like hey bro like it's like gas money like it's a lot bro it's a lot because nobody didn't want to do it she didn't want to do it she when she was living downtown she didn't want to come way back here to pick him up bring him to school because it was too far katie you know what what's saying? katie so the same thing for me like, hey, can you move his school? I asked her plenty of times, can you move his school closer in the middle? We already have a spot where we meet each other in the middle at like, we meet in the middle to drop him off or sometimes I bring him all the way to her crib or she come way over here. Katie, Texas? Oh, that's like a little city, city in Texas like, in type general, shit? Like, I asked her plenty of times to move his school closer because she have all his information. Like she have everything I can like, you know what I'm saying? She have all his information, you know what I'm saying? I asked her mom, whatever the case to get his information. She told me she was gonna give it to me and that's cool beans, but to this day I still don't have it, which is, 
not a problem for me to get it, but still, like, I don't have the information for me to even transfer his school to the middle for both of us or to even move his school closer to me. That actually was a, a situation as well, too. I'm just saying, like, I'd rather, you know, his school be to me and you get him like this so he can be you know stable like it's not good for a kid to go home to home house yeah i, I think so, things like this bro should definitely just be handled like i don't know it's, it's hard though because they probably don't speak they probably dead don't speak because they broken up and then like people be moving on so i know his girl don't be wanting too much to happen with like too much too i don't know it'd be co-parenting is crazy bro he go to a bed at a certain time you know what I'm saying? Like, Kaza, like, we, I, like, I do for my kid. Like, I, we just raised different, and I just handle things different on my end. And I just think, in general, it was, like, said and how we be backwards and forward, like, off-camera shit. It's like, yes, bro, like, co-parent for us, to be honest with y'all, bro, is, is not, it's not. We're going to watch her video after. It's been, like, three years off and on, you know what I'm saying? I pick up a lot of slack that I don't get credit for. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to like me having my kid or taking my kid to somewhere that I, I, I'm not okay with. It's like I just get the bad end of the stick when it comes to this situation because she could easily go on the internet and say this and say that and all her brainwashed fan base is gonna be like this. But it's like, like I'm tired. I even told her multiple times too, like don't speak on me on no videos for like a year. I'm not gonna lie. You just, I don't know, bro. Like you just, ah, it's tough. Bro, you can't, you can't get credit, you can't get credit for being a dad. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing. Like, or you, you don't get credit for being a mom either. Like, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, ah, uh, it's, it's, you just can't get credit for being a parent. Like, the, 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 the kid didn't choose to just pop up here. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like if me and Queen like go through some like, like, bro. I just can't get credit for doing shit that a dad is supposed to do, you know? And and she can't get credit for doing what a mom's supposed to do. It's like, it's our job, bro. Plus, two years back, like, just don't do no videos talking about me, no Q&A, because there's a lot of people that just be antagonizing me and coming at me when I'm moving forward in my life, especially for my family, with my daughter, with my girl, even with my son. Can't it's expect like, the credit. Kid. You're not going to get the credit. Kids. No one's going to give it to you. two kids at this point. So it's like my mind frame has very really much switched when it comes to my son and when it comes to my daughter and just slick things off camera of her saying, speaking on my daughter and speaking on this and speaking on that. It's just like, you have no place for that. And I know this person, like I been with this person and you know what I'm saying, had a kid with this person. So I actually know how this person operate and operate and how they move and stuff like that. Like I'm always, I'm only on the shade room, bro. Again, posted about something negative when she is bringing me into the shade room or saying something or Q&A or making it seem like that when it's like, I already said once before like don't make no videos about me don't talk about me because life moves on and it's like i don't do that i don't do that who's being cry babies oh when the only time i speak on some bro is i'm getting spoken about and i have to defend myself and i have to say because it's like right is right and wrong is wrong and it's like people be trying to just make it bash me like i'm just a bad person a bad person when like come on now like everybody see or know how i feel about my like my kid anybody in person that ran across me and see how i operate with my kids is just like it's just that's how I am as a person. So I feel like when you try to destroy my character and make it seem like I'm just this person when I have multiple conversations and I know genuinely though how I be talking to you and then like disrespectful, you calling me all my name and calling me this and calling me that when I'm being an adult about the situation. So sometimes you can I have tell to he's like a, he's upset. To side and speak to a, he seems a, a little hurt too. That, like you know what I'm saying? I, I hope they really they just gotta like, speak off camera, bro. Like, they gotta speak off camera, know, bro. Like, like make it a big issue and put people into this and i'm saying this but i have like I, like co-parent for me to honestly i genuinely and anybody who see this and know i feel like the best co-parent skills nah nah don't, do that, don't, do, that, don't do that bro don't do that chat don't do that chat don't do that chat don't do that chat don't call him a baby mama bro don't do that 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 i just don't like bro i'm not gonna lie and i'm not i'm not gonna feed into this I'm not going to feed into this because I don't like, but I really don't like the, how the internet portrays black men, bro. Like, I don't know the whole story. I, I really, I, Neek said that? Neek called him a baby mom? No way. Oh my God. No way. Bro, what? I hate, bro. I don't know. I, I don't agree with that. See, now that just got me tight.
I that just got me tight. I'm not gonna lie, that just got me tight. I just don't like, bro. I don't know how, like, all right, bro. And niggas feel the way, and niggas be get called. Uh, what's that word that I hate? What's that word that I hate? Um, sassy or sassy? Like, is that the word sassy? Nigga, yeah, sassy. Like niggas, bro. Niggas get. Bro, people, like, people are allowed to feel, bro. Like, people are allowed to feel. Like, once a nigga starts feeling something, it's, they're Older sassy. Person and, like, now he's a BM. It's like, crazy. Her, her. Like, she acting like a kid. Crazy. Like, I think that's why I just don't like, be, I just don't be want to deal with because I have my own life going on. I have my own situations that I be going through and going with. So, I don't have that extra in this that I don't be, like, dealing with. And even, too, like, I get talked to crazy, treated like this, then a third. This shit don't add to no mental health, bro. Half the mental health battles is going on with black men, bro. And this shit don't add up. Because then you're basically telling the man to keep all his feelings inside until he explodes or hurts himself or hurts somebody else. And that's what ends up happening, bro. Like, I, if this is his source of saying stuff and it's, if he's just reacting to somebody saying something or another video, bro, let the man talk, bro. You don't got to call him out his man. How his name is crazy. I like make a passport without my consent or bringing my kids somewhere that I told you a year ago. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he say something disrespectful, now the internet's going to get on him. You know what I'm saying? For for reacting to to a female or his baby moms. But the baby moms are allowed to say whatever is crazy. I think that's crazy. Go I, again, ask me. I don't know the whole story. I don't know the whole story, but... Me. Like, hey, is it cool? And I told you why. Because a cadre do not listen to nobody on that side. So if you take him out the country and, like, God forbid or anything, and he not listening to y'all and this, that, and thing, and anything was to happen, like, I can't get on a 10-hour, 13-hour flight to go get my kid versus if you in the States. Because everything I do with my kid, I take him in the States. So it's like the most of an hour trip or four-hour trip to get on a flight, that's not far versus 10 hours, 13 hours getting on some, getting on a trip and you know something is going on with the child. And I Why would he be 13 hours away though? Do this, then a third. So it's like, I just, I'm not respected. I, I, I tell her that and I say this, I don't feel respected in this situation. And every time I, I say something, I'm gonna be the bigger person. It's like, you know, I get this part behind closed doors and then it's like, I wake up in the morning, three months, two months down the line, I see something else about me on the media with the same situation or the same person. And I've been said offline, like, hey, like, leave me a, like, oh, man no stays overseas. Oh, me, oh shit. So we see each other in person. So it's like, it just be, it just be, it's just not great because if we trying to co parent and like, we trying to co parent and we trying to like be this. For this person, like the only thing for me, it's the best interest for him. No matter what the situation is, I don't care. I want what's best for Kaiser, bro. Cause I want Kaiser to learn the daycare that she have him at. He's not even learning there. Like I call her and tell her about things that he's watching, or I tell him about the things that he's. D Bacon do hoop side. overseas. He's not picking up from D Bacon do hoop overseas, mo. He do a hoop overseas. I didn't even I didn't even put that together, Mo. I be minding my business, Mo. D Bacon is fleet though. I'm not gonna lie. Like let's let's my son D Bacon is fleet though. Ain't he's dumb nice and hooping, Mo. I'm not gonna lie. And I that that's tough, Mo. Not to not to go off stu off subject, but you know what I'm saying? I, I pay I pay homage to where is that? My nigga, my son D Bacon is a fly nigga. That nigga fly, bro. Ain't he hoop? That nigga hoop. I don't show him how to flip middle fingers. I don't show him like curse words and this, that, and a third. And P. Cobb, that nigga, kid, that kid, nigga Bacon be putting that shit on. He do, he do, he do, he do. Twelve. You know what I'm saying? I ask my son how to spell this, how to spell that, or how to do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just putting it out there like that, but you know what I'm saying? He have trouble with that. But it's like <laughs> nah, that's... not y'all calling D. Bacon sassy too, mo. Can any man can can any man just be a man? <laughs> Yo. Yo, can any man just be a man, bro? Damn. Oh. The problem yeah. versus knowing what this about and what's this or how to do this and how to do that. And I be want to make sure that he's smart, bro, because my son got too much, like, intelligence, bro. He's too smart and too advanced for his age to say he's four years old. I got to him to have the Remind me to tell y'all that I got some, some crazy news. Like, Nah, it's not that crazy, but I was hyped when I seen it. I, just remind me to tell y'all when, when the video well, was I done. want him to be the best version of himself even when he get older and know who he is as a man. And me as a father and a man, you know what I'm saying? I have to install that into him. I want him to be better than me. I want him to be, have this, you know, he's in a 
blessed position to even have his mom and his dad that start there so i feel like too like nobody never have to look for me when you call my phone i'm always answering when it's yeah niggas can't niggas can't feel no emotion in this world mom like i'm there like it's never Hate a it, situation or time when nobody have to look for me or say that i don't do for my kid that i do for the other just like there's this thing that's going on that i'm about to like i don't want that to be a problem since i have a daughter and i have another kid like i'm caring much about one than i'm caring about the other i love my kids equally my mama say that bro you know what you got to do gang if you that if that's how you feel gang you know what you do bro on the weekend damn but that's gonna be tough but like when you do have him maybe if you have him for a week or something you get like a little home tutor or something and like not saying she's not doing what she's supposed to do but Get like a little uh at home tutor, like how me and uh me and Queen got like CJ CJ and Legend got an at home tutor too, so they go to school and they got an at home tutor. That's why it's not it's not just it's not just a coincidence that they're like smart. You know what I mean? Like we kind of like we push the envelope forward. Like they don't just go to school. You know what I'm saying? Like they 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 get tutored too. You know what I'm saying? One on one, just him and the tutor, like. And my mama got three kids and I heard my mama say that multiple times and I understand and I feel that now. Like I have two kids that I love equally. If I have, when I have more kids or anything, I'm going to love them equally. Kaiser is my oldest son. I have to teach him how to be the oldest. You can't really rely on the school to teach your kid nothing, bro. I'm not going to lie. That's why we get the tutor. Because right there, I could talk to the tutor. Queen could talk to the tutor and tell him exactly what he need help with, what, what he's good at, what he's not good at. The teacher, you can't really, bro. They got, they paying, trying to pay attention to 15 kids, bro. I have a daughter. She the second. That shit just fun. Helping me and more kids I have after that. School I, way different, bro. TCJ don't even get the homework, bro. Yeah, I, I don't understand trying, like, that. teach them certain things because I want them to love and be for each other. I don't have time for, like, the negativity and the, narr the negative narratives that I'm always posting on the shade room when it comes to somebody speaking on me. So I want to say this publicly. I don't care how nobody feel about it or anything. And just being honest, like, I don't want to be spoke about on anybody's video. I don't want no Q&As because people can ask me when I put Q&As, people say a lot of things about how about this person? How about this person? I choose. On what no I homework, bro. They don't give him no homework, video. bro. I'm like, nah. I choose on what I want. So we just give him homework. Video before I post he got to write an so essay like, on like how his day was. Move, in the we got him a little math book. So you got to do math homework. You got to do math work. The bullshit that we go through in the argument and the fussing and all this down the third is like. like I used to have wild homework. From what you Never did none of it. With you, with your mom and told me an hour before he land to pick him up. My life is like nobody's considerate of my life. I have a life too. Like I can't just move, skip when you tell me to because you have to like communicate no it's no communication communication skills are very weak it's that cj's pocket and the homework is crazy yeah. you know what i'm saying like i even told you know her mom like i appreciate y'all for you know what i'm saying how y'all care about my son how y'all love for my son and stuff like i really feel like it's best for me to just cut communications with her not talk to her and just talk to her, her mom because at the end of the day i want to talk to the person who got the best interest for our kid life and who got the best interest for that. I don't want to talk about the bullshit about the past or what's going on or how it is or this, that, and the third. Like, I'm not stuck on it. I'm moving on with my life and I'm like becoming a man. I'm trying to grow as a person and I, I can't keep doing this and keep doing this and people fucking up and throwing dirt on me when I'm not even on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know Kaiser, bro. So, I, bro, you can't just, you can't just not talk to the parent, the other parent, bro. You're going to have to talk to you. I got to figure it out, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, Queen has to talk to Chris. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, bro, y'all have to, like, bro. And if y'all want CJ to succeed, like, if I, if we want CJ to succeed, bro, one day, and it, it, it it's, it, I'm, I might be far from it, bro, but, like, one day we're going to all have to fucking work together, like, you know what I'm saying? For the benefit of CJ. CJ loves me, CJ loves Queen, and CJ loves his dad, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and... That's why I kind of stopped all the other shit, the, all the nonsense and shit, because I know he loves his dad, bro. Me and him have had deep conversations and talks, bro. His dad means the world to him. So I never want to, like, if he grows up, I never want him to see or think that, like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, 
I love that little nigga. You know what I mean? Really want I love that little nigga. Bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love my son. My son gonna probably see all this when he gets. Even though it's tough. Even, even though he wear bad he jeans, see, he, it's like he, one he, day, he, bro. The person, the person that I give him, and I don't have to post. CJ my might want to see us all in the same room, bro. Do this or do that to make sure. I hope he don't wear bad jeans, though, bro. Word, but because I have a jean went bond with my son. I love my son. That's my son. Like, that's my firstborn son. Like, that's my little boy. Like. I want him to feel me, be me, like be better than me type shit. So it's like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't be settling for that. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to come on here and really just I, speak on that. Like when it comes to his school, because he's not in school, he's in daycare, and I took that how I took it because I know you. I know how you. Nah, let me stop. Please don't. Yeah, yeah let me not even. You let your <laughs> fans come my way and this, then a third. It's enough. It's enough. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of false accusations, a lot of false things that just be said and played and twisted and manipulated and i'm like i'm not trying to be that I, I, i'm not good at that i'm not good at that i'm not a female to even play those type of games i can't do that i don't know how to do that so yeah, i'm just this is what it is you know what i'm saying wrong me uncut me i just can't do this no more and i'm sorry i'm tired i'm not sorry i'm tired of it. i'm tired i just whatever it is you do look tired mo no keep them in your me. prayers you feel, you feel. don't do no videos about me don't speak on me no q a's about me don't hop in no videos no friends Acting like talking about none of that. I don't bro, fuck that. all the blog pages, nigga. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck about none of that, bro. That's one thing, bro. My Twitch, bro, I don't give a fuck about none of that, bro. I swear to God, bro. All the blogs and all that, bro. I swear to God, there was a point in time I probably paid attention to care, bro. I swear to God, I haven't seen not one blog page talk about me. And I know y'all probably see them and maybe other people see them, bro. I really don't care. Like, I really don't care, bro. What I keep. I'm so happy in life right now. It's like no one's gonna be able to take that away from me. Try to tear me down for that. I feel like you be trying to do that on certain things. Uh, my kid gonna get over there and see this, and I want him to see the best of me, not the not the worst. So I'm gonna just leave that how that is. But I really wanted to come on here and say that because I had to get that out of my chest. I don't like doing this. I don't. I don't. I, YouTube ain't really been fun. It's like people like to get on camera and just be like this and like that. I like to get on and be me. So I just don't wanna do that with nobody you know what i'm saying i love all my supporters i love all the people that's you know rocking peace on where i'm at in my life i cannot lie most when people tap all right this is over okay what's next y'all said she did a vid right